Welcome to today's 3D print. Someone posted to Reddit about a semi-automatic toilet paper holder where you did not have to remove the spool holder. You just slid the toilet paper in and it grabbed it and you could slide it out. I thought, I can make that. I really can. So, I first built a mechanical prototype. Just something to rough out the shape and dimensions to see if I can make it work at all. And it did, so I went forward with the design, and this is the semi-final model. This is the final basic shape. Um, don't mind the horrible print. This PLA has given me nightmares. I'm never buying Hobby King PLA ever again unless I can figure out what it is I'm doing wrong with it. But, oh, that shit is horrible. <laughs> I mean, you can look at my last video. Uh, I, I found out that I needed to... I needed to cut this section out because it interfered with the toilet paper being able to come in and out of the um, unit. Um, and the section I cut out just delaminates. Yeah, this stuff is this stuff is horrible. I mean, <laughs> and it doesn't stick to anything. It won't stick to PEI. It won't stick to blue tape. It won't stick to purple glue. Nothing. Oh, I hate this stuff. But it was enough that I can make it work. So the next one's going to be printed with my Repcord PLA, which prints like creamy butter. So that one should be a lot better. I just don't have that in orange. And I really wanted this in orange. So it's got the lid. That just moves up when you put a roll in. And the little nubs here hold it. I'm going to redesign this. Do not print this as is. This has to be removed or it will not work properly. Now, I decided I needed to make these come down to more of a point so that they would fall into the roll of toilet paper more easily and in doing that I also made them longer and I goofed up I did not make these cavities large enough to receive them and that turned out to be unintentional genius because the problem I was having is how do I make these come out so that they engage the toilet paper roll when you put it in I was thinking you know put two hooks in here and stretch a rubber band across it so the rubber band would push them back out or put a spring inside here or a piece of foam rubber something to push this back out turns out this is just pure genius because you don't need a damn thing gravity pushes them back down so as long as that gap is big enough to accept the toilet paper I was going to shrink this now I'm not because it's just wide enough that the fit toilet paper fits in like that check this out take your toilet paper slide it in it engages and hooks just like that and it does not come off they're long enough to hold it as you can see they're inside the hole and that just sits there like that and when you're ready to change the roll you just pull the old roll out everything resets slide the new roll in everything resets that easy it works perfectly um, instead of coming up with complicated hinges I said screw it I lined the pieces up in a program punched a hole straight through it in the design software I used Tinkercad to make this and I designed this to use um, kebab skewers the bamboo kebab skewers I'm actually just using literally <laughs> filament I just jammed a piece of filament in there but that hole runs through the body through the um, the arm through the rest of the body and comes out the back and then there's also you can see a piece of the filament sticking out right here I can push that in um, that runs through here through the lid and through here and that creates your hinge um, I still need to modify the STL file to include this modification I think I think I'm gonna leave these nubs here but maybe try to add an additional nub up here if I can figure out how to do it without harming anything it's gonna be hard to print um, one thing is that does not print well because it is an unsupported overhang but it's not a big deal um, it prints it okay. It just, it just make sure you have a lot of solid layers here so that it has enough time to build up enough layers to support the rest of the hole that goes forward. And then you can just cut this out, just take a pair of uh, you know, pliers and just rip that crap out, hit, a, hit it with a lighter, clean it up smoothly. Um, you could also add support in here, um, but I figure screw it, I don't want to add support in there, so I just let it dangle that first couple layers and I'll just tear it out of there. It's no big deal. It doesn't, it doesn't even interfere. Um, I didn't want to print it this way, which would be no problem for the holes, because if I printed it this way, I'm going to have to make a second video. Hold on. Because if I printed it this way, the printer's going to screw this up. 
and I don't want it to screw that up. Although now I'm wondering. No, I guess. Oh yeah, I guess if it printed it this way, this joint would be stronger. Maybe I'll just add the tiny bit of support I need for this part right here. And theoretically, it shouldn't need support, but I have a warping problem, and I don't know how to solve it. And so this probably will need support, but that, but in here won't need support because in anticipation of printing it like this, I added a um, an angle in here, so you won't have a problem with layer fill there. Hmm. I may try printing it like this. That that'll make this stronger because I was able to break this by pulling it apart. Although part of that is because of this cheap ass filament this, this filament is just unless it's something in my settings this filament is bad stay away from hobby king filament unless you can tell me what i'm doing wrong with it it's just so stupidly brittle it's just it's just there's no there's nothing there there's nothing to it it just it just comes apart but i am pleased so before you go printing this i need to make that modification so that it doesn't because you know, this the shelf interfered with the toilet paper the toilet paper has to come up at the right angle to engage these teeth and then I also need to add two screw holes in the back here so you can screw it into your wall but I'm pleased I love this this is I, this came out much much better than I thought it is functionally better than I thought it would be it works flawlessly I have no problem getting it to engage you know it doesn't come out it doesn't jiggle it doesn't cause me any problems or grief I love that it just works perfectly very very cool and uh, because these are just kebab scour skewers two here and one through here for the door it's serviceable you could take it all apart service it repair it replace parts whatever if you break something that's how horrible this stuff attaches to the bed nasty 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 it just does not lay well at all and if you if you don't squish it enough, it doesn't stick. It comes right off. I mean, literally, it just comes right off like it's oil. And um, if you don't squish enough, it doesn't stick at all. And um, so you really have to squish it good. Like this part here, if I made the whole thing like that, it wouldn't stick. It would just come right off. I mean, I have to push it harder in order to get it to stick at all. And that results in this. So I'm going to print this with Repcord PLA, and we'll see how that goes. You hear me, Repcord? I need some orange Repcord PLA. This is the orange I want. This is bright orange. This nice, super bright, blaze orange. Not fluorescent, not burnt orange, not peach orange. Orange, orange, blaze orange. I will buy roll after roll after roll if you can get orange that prints like the creamy butter that your black and white print like. But there you go. I'm going to update the STL file tomorrow. I'll make the final corrections to this file and it should be ready to go. Let me I know what you guys think. I hope somebody makes this and enjoys it. More to come.